But first, we have very special guests. We talked to the guys with the uh, GotBalls.com website, Eric Rupp and Aaron Steele. Welcome to the show, fellas. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Thanks for having us on. All right. Catch us up. Maybe some people in our audience aren't familiar with what's going on in Fort Wayne. What's going on with Harry Balls? Um, well, I'll, I'll give you a little background first. I mean, when, when I was growing up uh, in, in Fort Wayne, um, you know, I used to pass the street all the time that was named uh, Harry Balls Drive, and I had I just laughed about it. But the sign was gone like more than it was uh, it was actually there. Uh, you know, for obvious reasons, people wanted people wanted to hang the sign in their garage or basement or you know something like that. But anyway, my dad told me it was a a mayor of Fort Wayne, and recently uh, someone suggested that um, you know we may we uh, name the new government center uh, Harry Balls Government Center, and. Uh, it got overwhelming support on an online poll. Like I think it was like 24,000 votes. The next nearest was just over a thousand votes. So, um, but but now the powers that be, uh, you know, don't want to don't want to have that name on the building, and and a lot of people are kind of pissed off around here. Now, uh, timing wise, I, I know this is hard to time, but. I guess like the one per, if you're going to have an online poll to discuss what's going to be the company name or name of, of any building or something, Stephen Colbert will probably be the number one because he'll always find an open poll and put his own name on there. How lucky was it that Harry Balls didn't have to compete with that? He was on an off week that week. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. I guess I didn't think about that. <laughs> like it, it, it could either be Harry Balls, you know, building. Or Stephen Colbert supporting Harry Balls, or Stephen Colbert competing against Harry Balls. I mean, this, uh, who knows? I, I know he didn't do a whole lot because of the Egypt thing, but and him being off. But it could very that could have been a whole lot of more votes if if Stephen Colbert got in on this. <laughs> yeah, I, I still true. think I, that I uh, know. you know Harry Balls is, uh, would would have beat him out just for the name alone. It, it's a great uh, great name for it, and everyone loves Stephen Colbert. I love Stephen Colbert, but you know you. When, when presented with Stephen Colbert versus Harry Balls, I mean, hey, you, you got to go one, hey, one way or the other. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Aaron. I think that's uh, you just you just quoted a line for our next shirt right there. Uh, uh, we Harry Balls beat him out. <laughs> I'm, I'm making the, the graphic now. <laughs> now, has this been an issue for a while, and the rest of the country just caught up to it, or did this all just hit over the past couple of weeks? It's, uh, it's actually fairly new. Um, it's only been out. Uh, well, uh, as far as like the, the the voting online voting, they really opened up uh, in uh, I think it was last month. So it hasn't been a super long issue as far as like uh, wanting to name the building uh, the Harry Balls Government Center. Actually, it, it, that wasn't even part of the proposal. It was to say open, they opened up a poll to say what do you suggest and. Uh, uh, one uh, uh, very very smart person uh, out there decided to say, "Hey, let's. What about the Harry Balls Government Center?" And it just took off. Uh, so it's a fairly new issue as far as the government center uh, goes. Obviously, he's been a he was a mayor um, of Fort Wayne. He actually was mayor from like 1934 to 47, and then I think he again in like the early 50s he actually died in office. So he he was a, a big part of Fort Wayne's history for a long time there uh, and a, a, has been a brunt of many jokes, obviously, uh, locally. So It's it's funny how history and innuendo have been kind of battling each other on this whole issue because, like, if his name was, like, you know, Dan Smith or something, it'd be no question. <laughs> He's been a very popular mayor. And you know, in Chicago, everything is named after Daly. You know, you can if every, every building can go up can be conceivably named after any of the mayor Dalys we've had. This has been I, kind of a torn yeah, issue with Harry Balls. Oh yeah, it's so, it's so funny because um, I, I just watched an interview with uh, a local uh, radio announcer, very popular, who, who's uh, you know getting up in years, but he he was uh, I believe on TV. Uh, in his early years, and and when he was first elected mayor, um, he he pronounced his name Bales, and uh, immediately after the show, uh, Harry actually called in and asked for him and said, "No, my son, my name is Balls," and so corrected him. And uh, he he'd always had good humor about his name, from what I understand. But uh, he he did some amazing things for Fort Wayne, especially uh, downtown. Um, you know. 
uh, as far as uh, expanding expanding it, modernizing it, that sort of thing. So we we owe we own quite a bit. It's um, it's just unfortunate that um, you know the mayor and and his people uh, just just won't get past the the funniness of the name. I, I think it'll bring some good tourism to uh, Fort Wayne as well if we, if we actually name the the center, you know, the Harry Balls Government Center. I mean, people drive way out of their way to sit in a large lawn chair. Why not? get your picture taken in front of Harry Balls. See, whenever I go on a radio show, I immediately say that my name is Balls. So, like, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's something that me and Harry Balls have in common. <laughs> nice. All right, I, nice. Here's, here's something I thought of right away, is since you said this has been a fairly new issue, how long did it go from the time it became an issue to the time where you – got your website started to the time where you thought you could make money off of it, and then, boom, profit started. How long did that take? <laughs> uh, probably about a day, maybe. Wow. Yeah, I, mean, I would say. I, mean, I, I don't know. You remember, I think it was the Wednesday night when Jimmy Kimmel had his, um, like, high horse thing on, and, and, he, had, and he had his thing about uh, Harry Balls. Uh, that night, I thought, man, those would make some great shirts, and I called Aaron the next morning. And, uh, Aaron, I'll let you continue the story from there. Right, yeah, I mean, yeah, w- w- he called me in the morning, and we, we started talking about, you know, oh, that'd be kind of fun and be an interesting design. I, I actually work for a software company out of California, and that same afternoon, I got some emails from from those guys out there saying, hey, is this real? You know, because I guess it made the news out there. Uh, as well about the uh, name of the, the Harry Balls Government Center. So, uh, um, you know, Eric and I were talking that day, and, you know, that afternoon or that evening we uh, we just started putting down some designs, and it took us about four hours uh, from the time we decided to do it to having about three or four designs up online and, and actually having a couple sales. So it was a, it was a very quick turnaround for us. So you – what day was this, Wednesday? Uh, uh, last, Thursday, uh, right? Yeah, Thursday. Yeah. Wednesday was when uh, kind of all the hoopla started. Uh, it kind of hit the national news on Wednesday, and by Thursday night we had everything. We had stuff online, and, and we're selling. Uh, so I got I got one of the first shirts printed here, I guess. Oh, yeah, like, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, mine yeah. came in the mail on uh, yesterday. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I actually got mine on, uh, uh, I think it was Friday of last week. So, <laughs> yeah, you're you're right there on top. I am I'm so proud right now. All right, has there been any resistance from Fort Wayne or any member of the Balls family? Um actually there we've we've gotten uh some remarks. I mean, if you go, you know, we we've made uh, local media here in Fort Wayne and and uh, a few other places and um you know, we see some comments online about, you know, how embarrassing this is for Fort Wayne and that sort of thing, but uh, I mean, 95% of the comments we see are all great. Um, I have been in contact with actually a, a nephew and a niece of, um, or I'm sorry, a great nephew and great niece of, of Harry Balls, and um, and actually they, they support us. Uh, the first email I got from one of them said, well, hey, I, I love what you're doing. It's hilarious. Um, but, uh, you know, Harry probably wouldn't have gone for a couple of the shirt designs and that sort of thing. So I, I wrote it back and I said, yeah, you're probably right. We're kind of stretching the limit a little bit there. But, um, you know, it's all, all in good fun. We have nothing but the greatest respect for Harry. And uh, I think that was the day that we floated uh, maybe doing a Harry Balls festival in Fort Wayne. I would attend the Harry Balls Festival. I might even rent a tent if you're like, are allowing it. <laughs> well, <laughs> do a li- well, get this. Do a live show. It's kind of, it's kind of got its own legs. And um, it, what's funny about it is, is that um, someone suggested this very large parking lot where a lot of where they have a lot of festivities, um, you know, several times a year. Uh, it's right in front of the Bonar Building. Why not? <laughs> It, we figured at that point it kind of sealed the deal that, that we just have to do that. I mean, <laughs> you can't get any better than that. You, you can't even write that stuff if you tried. Oh, that would be a, that would be a happy ending. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, That's great. Some of the shirts involved are the I Heart Harry Balls, the Harry Balls Bowling League, which has a very suggestive two ball one pin setup. Uh, Fort Wayne stands firm for Harry Balls. Like these are all like 
like, how long did it take you to come up with some of these? Like, was this just the, the first day, or were these some of the ideas that came, like, into your uh, website? Uh, the uh, um, the first day we actually had uh, um, the I Heart Harry Balls, the Sands Firm, and the uh, Harry Balls Government Center shirts. Uh, we just Eric ran down and took a picture of the buildings and uh, sent them to me, and I I put them together real quick and we had those up. Um, we had a few. We kind of tweaked those a little bit overnight, uh, and then we had uh, the next day. Actually, it was about. Four o'clock in the morning, I woke up with the idea of I got to do a Harry Balls bowling league, uh, and uh, I, I just ran over to my desk and, and put that up real quick, and and that was up. And then I, I, I had noticed that Eric had done a, a few more as well. Uh, so uh, uh, by the next day, we had I would say at least uh, about eighty percent of what we have up there right now. All right, for the future, what is the plan? Is it a, like a quick profit once the sizzle's gone away, or are you guys going to come up with more like innuendo stuff and kind of like keep your ears out for other stories that might come down the line where innuendo might be involved? Yeah, I think that's the plan. That's definitely the plan. Uh, we, we had talked about starting a kind of a innuendo shirt company, I don't know, three or four years ago, and um, – so this was our perfect launching point. If you actually scroll down the last four shirts I threw on there because, you know, we're going to start designing shirts that, you know, I don't know, might be humorous or have any innuendo or whatnot. So. Yeah, we're kind of yeah. looking forward to uh, to doing more shirts. Uh, I mean, obviously the Harry Ball thing is a, is a topical situ- uh, topical subject right now. It's a lot of fun to do, and, and, and you we – we have a whole page full of ideas of, of other ones for that too, but you know we, we would like to, it to morph into a, a, a or just at least be a springboard for a, a better uh, a more selection of stuff that is more innuendo based. And uh, you know if that means that we have to sit around on every Friday night and, and drink some beer and think of some new stuff, you know I, I think we'll uh, we'll have to we'll do that if we need to. You know. I'm yeah, I just. That. I just noticed you have a contact us, so like you're offering ideas. You know, people can come and email you guys for ideas that you can have printed on a shirt. Yeah, absolutely. You know, join the party. All right, so I'm wearing the uh, the the Star Wars base, the Harry Ball Strikes Back shirt, like right now as we speak, which got me also so thinking got hit. that possibly Harry so Ball shot first. <laughs> right. Like that—that that would be a fun shirt. And um, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> my my co-host Louie also thought of uh, co-host with benefits, only because you know <laughs> <laughs> he he's got a he's got a thing going on there, I guess. Absolutely. 